Hello everyone, this is Matt Smith here. Just wanted to make a new indexing video to kind of summarize what I'd done in my other videos just to make it a little bit more simple for anyone who's new to indexing to begin indexing. Uh, it is a very simple process. All you'll want to do is open up a an internet browser and go to any search engine and then type in family search indexing and then it will actually bring up the first result should be the link that you want to go to it's familysearch.org dash indexing just go ahead and click on that and uh, the way that you get the program to do indexing is simply uh, I mean you're welcome to read all this but um, these are the two links that you're most concerned about. If you have a LDS.org uh, registration, if you're registered there, then you can just click here on Start Indexing because you have the registration. If you don't have a registration there, go ahead and click here and it will take you right through the process. Um, if you are LDS, you'll need your membership record, I believe, and uh, your baptismal date. But if you're not, they still have another link that you can click on and go ahead and start indexing because um, you definitely do not need to be LDS to do this. It is available for everyone who wants to participate and it is a great program. It's very simple and easy to use and it's very convenient. So um, depending on which of those you fit into, go ahead and click on one of those and it will take you right through the process of downloading the program, getting logging into it and I'm just going to show you how to do it right now. Um, as soon as you download it, you will see this icon over here appear on your desktop. You just need to double click that. And I'm just going to show you what's going to happen when it brings it up. Sometimes when it comes up, it will bring up this, uh, a smaller box before it brings up this screen that you're seeing right here. It will bring up a smaller box saying downloading items. Just let it download, do its thing. But uh, as soon as you get here, you'll want to log in with that username and password that you made. And click OK. And it will go ahead and load that up for you. And uh, whenever you come into Family Search Indexing, there's going to be a tip of the day. So. Um, uh, you can read these and, and get simple tips, but um, let me just show you the kind of outlying, uh, the most important parts of this screen. You have my work, my messages, and my personal goal. Um, the two areas that you're going to be mostly concerned with are my work and my personal goal. This this area down here is actually going to change. It has these different links here, like my history, my accuracy, indexing links. Um, but uh, to start indexing, you want to just click on download a batch, and it will bring up the available batches and their their uh, difficulty level and what they are. And you can just go ahead and look at these. You can view a sample if you'd like. Sometimes they don't have a sample for the project, but um, let's see if they do for this one. Nope. But anyway, they don't have them for this, but uh, sometimes they do. If not, don't worry about it. Don't be you know, too hung up on that. Just uh, download one that you would be interested in. If you're new to indexing, I love the World War II draft registration cards. Uh, very, very simple and easy to do. A good way to get started with the program. But uh, I, I'm not going to download anything because I've already got two here. You'll notice that they're in red. This is the color that they turn when they're about to expire. You can see the due date is July 23rd. So uh, just watch out for that and. Uh, and uh, when they turn red, complete them quickly. If if you don't complete them for whatever reason, don't worry about it. They're, you're not penalized for not completing a batch. They'll just be sent back as um, something to be completed for another indexer. So, uh, And you can actually do that with these buttons here. If you don't think you're going to complete these, you can just click on Return Batch and it will send it right back. So, But uh, I'm going to work on these because I want to get them done before that time so let's uh, 
make sure that that one's highlighted and we're going to click on work on batch and this little box will come up opening batch and I'll just let you figure out what these links over here are they're pretty self-explanatory and uh, when you click on them it's pretty simple to walk through them with the the instructions they already have in this so so as soon as you open up a batch uh, this is what it looks like uh, there's a couple things I'm going to show you how to do that will help you in your indexing a lot actually if you'll do this every time you come in it will actually save you quite a bit of strain on your eyes and help you index quicker and more effectively so uh, you want to come up here and click on view on the toolbar and come down to adjust highlights and you'll notice that fields pop up when I bring my when I oh, excuse me when I bring my mouse bit down over the document and these are the uh, highlighting fields and you can actually adjust where these are and that's what I'm saying you should do every time you come in to index a document is just adjust your highlights that simple step if you do it every time will save your eyes and your brain and you'll be able to focus a lot easier if you do that every time so go ahead and just adjust those to the outline of the document and usually it's set up pretty close but you know sometimes you need to make a simple adjustment so and just make sure that those highlights are over where they need to be the birth country the birth town um, and you know if you want to you can adjust these to fit the size of you know of the cell that you're indexing by just clicking and dragging on one of the corners um, it, it might make it easier for you but if, you, if it's not a big deal to you don't worry about it okay and then you'll want to turn those off so go back up to view and click on adjust highlights and turn it off okay now then the after you've adjusted the highlights the other two areas that you're going to be want, that you're going to be concerned with is these areas down here this area over here is where you're actually going to be typing in the data from the document and um, where the actual indexing happens and then you're going to be concerned with this field help box this is the exact instructions from familysearch.org on what they want you to do with this document so if you have any questions at all about any uh, thing that you're indexing look over to the field help box it will probably answer it for you and they even give examples which is nice so um, the other thing I wanted to show you was a uh, lookup tool now let me get to a, a point where I can use that um, you can use it with with names with uh, you can use it with almost everything but mainly with names you know on this particular document which is a federal census for England um, you can use it with occupation birth country or birth county and birth city uh, it's a really really handy tool and I'll show you why so you can see that the highlight is right over where I need to index which makes it a very very valuable tool that highlight will actually go back and forth wherever you're indexing and it will just highlight exactly what you need to index which is nice which is why I told you to adjust those highlights so let's say I didn't know that this was Elizabeth it is it's Elizabeth okay um, but let's say I didn't know that this little drop down arrow box here come down here and click it and then go click on lookup and this little lookup box pops up and you can actually use this to figure out what that is so let's say I could only make out that it starts with EL it contains a ZA and ends with ETH okay so with with those simple inputs I can pretty much make out that it's Elizabeth then you just have to get the spelling right they bring up so many different spellings of it so you just gotta go down and find the one that it's gonna be there it is double click on it and it will put it right in for you so simple easy um, it, it allows you to really use the program quite quite well another thing that I want you to be aware of is that these fields down here um, are called autocomplete they will they and they're not called that but they will autocomplete for you if you've already entered in 
to a field something that you're going to type in again, like daughter. See how daughter was already entered in, in this one, and now it's entered in again on this one. All I have to do is hit D, and it automatically completes it. So it kind of helps you to index a little bit quicker. See, now here's where the field help box will come in handy. Um, the condition is if they're married, unmarried, widowed, or divorced. They don't want you to write out all those things. They just want you to put U, M, W, or D. So be, be watching this field help box as, as often as possible. In fact, if you're new to it, I would just follow along the whole first time that you do it with the field help box. So I think that that's everything. Um, see, look, I have a question right now. If if because uh, there's two occupations here, and I don't know if it wants me to enter both, but it, I think it does. So I'm gonna just write Milner and okay. See, someone's already put and dress something. So I'm just gonna put in and news oh, agent. Another thing to be aware of is that, um, let's see if separating that will make it, no. Okay, so if you, these boxes that have turned red, it just means that uh, the program doesn't recognize that as a valid entry. And so it will turn red to alert you that, hey, this might be incorrect. Um, and you're going to have to make the call on that. Uh, just use your best judgment as best as you can. These documents are reviewed twice before they're uh, well they're they're reviewed by you at the end and then they're actually reviewed by an arbitrator so if you don't feel I mean if you if you do your best and uh, use your best judgment it will probably be right um, so if it's still red even though you know it's right leave it like this don't try and change it because um, you want to index exactly as it is up here and exactly as it tells you to do in the field help box. Other than that, that's it. Um, indexing is pretty simple. It's a great way to to help contribute to uh, to this to help uh, these these kind of records become available to more people through the internet. So I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you use it and that you uh, participate in it frequently. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, go to go to familysearch.org and uh, I'm sure that they, they have other things there that will help you or you can come up here to help and uh, they have so, so many different resources up here that will help you including a tutorial so uh, yeah hope you enjoy it take care